what's going on everybody so today's video is going to be all about the qb core ambulance job um i'm going to show you so say you don't want to use the default pillbox hospital and you want to use a different hospital map if you're still using the default qb core ambulance job script i'm going to show you how to change locations how to set up your beds how to set up your check-in locations um, all that good stuff really easy to do uh, We're using the GN mods Mount Zona medical center on this one This will work the way I'm going to show you will work with any location once you just get the idea of what it is that you have to do uh, Which I'm going to show you really easy to do so you can use a different um, Hospital if you would like so the first thing we're going to do as you can see, we have no check-in, so we're not able to use this location. So you want to open your resource folder, and you want to go, let's see, QB Core, Resources, QB, and we're going to find QB Ambulance Job. Once you open that up, go ahead and hit that config file. Scroll on down. You're going to see locations right here. So this is the area we're going to be working with to change all the locations. Uh, first thing we're going to do is, uh, this says checking, but I feel like that should say check in. Um, but anyways, we'll, we'll just, we'll go with it. Uh, there's two ways you can do this. If you want to do T slash admin, go all the way down to developer options. From there, we can go to entity view mode, free aim mode. And as you see, I have this little white bubble globe looking thing. Basically, you just wanna put this right where you want your check-in spot to be or whatever it is that you're setting. So I want my check-in spot to be right here in the middle of this desk. Um, so I'm gonna hit, at the very top, you can see it says copy vec 3 h Go ahead and hit H. Uh, you'll see the little green box pop up on the right. It says copy coordinates. So we have that done. The other way you can do it is just go to the spot you want to set up. And let's see. Well, if I can do it without sliding, there we go. Just go stand at the location you want to use and you can just hit, um, go to developer options and then boom, copy vec three. Uh, you can do it that way or you can do it the other way, whichever way works better for you. We'll go ahead and use this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to that config file. The very first one, you're just gonna wanna highlight right before that comma at the end, all the way to the V of the vector three. And then you wanna hit control V as in vec uh, vector. Uh, that's gonna paste it into the um, script for you. This is if you wanna use uh, more than one location. So we only use one location. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some little dashes there. When this is all the way green, that basically comments it out so you're not able to use it. So this is no longer gonna work, that's fine. We only wanna use the one location for our server. But as I said, if you have multiple locations, it's the same concept for each. Just make sure you uh, number them one, two, three, and so on. All right, so we have that done. Now let's go do our duty um, check-in location. Let's go ahead and just put it right here. How about that? We'll just put it right here. So again, you can use the entity view mode or just go ahead and hit copy vector three. Got that. Go into your config duty one. You wanna do the same thing, control V to paste. We're gonna go ahead and take this one out because we're not using two locations. Um, next, we'll do the vehicle. So this is completely up to you where you put this vehicle. And as I said, you don't have to use the same locations I'm using. If you have a totally different map, it's gonna work the exact same way. Just follow the steps. So as far as the vehicle goes, I like to go to the area where I wanna spawn the vehicle. On this map, we do have garages over here, but I know some of you won't even be using this one, so I'm just gonna show you a real basic. So you just wanna do T slash car, space, ambulance. It's gonna go ahead and spawn the ambulance. And let's get this music turned off. All right, so once you have it in a location, you wanna spawn it. 
you can go ahead and go down. This one you want to use Vector4. So go ahead and again, T slash admin, developer options, copy Vector4. Once we have that, we'll come down here to vehicle and same as the other ones before, control V to paste. Got that in there and we're gonna take this one out. Um, same thing goes with your helicopter. I'm not gonna show you that one, but same exact thing just go ahead and go where you want the helicopter and then just copy vector 4 go ahead and paste it in right there um, same thing can be done with your armory as far as the roof and the main this is going to be your um, teleport script for your um, hospitals so what you're going to want to do on these you're going to want to go stand on the rooftop uh, if you have a door or an elevator, if you even have a heli helicopter pad, that's what this is for. Uh, go on the roof, stand where you want your um, button to be for the elevator, copy vector 4, and then just paste it right here. And then this is going to be your main lobby. So this is where you're going to start from the bottom, and you're going to go down to the main lobby. So find the area on the lobby floor where you want to go ahead and use the... Um, elevator and then you'll just copy the vector 3 for that location um, just pay attention to what's already on here so if it says vector 4 you want to copy vector 4 if it says vector 3 you want to copy vector 3 uh, but yeah so this will be your lower elevator and this will be your upper elevator so just set those in the location that you'd like to use um, same with the stash you just want to go find an area it could be a cabinet whatever stand next to the location and you can copy your vector 3 the next thing is going to be the beds which I will show you we'll go ahead and DV this vehicle now if you have uh, a GN mods mountain zona like this one it already comes with an elevator script, so you will not need to use that main or lobby section in the in the config file. This one already has an elevator script built in, and if you already have something that has an elevator script put in also, all you gotta do is just go to your uh, roof and two dashes. Main, two dashes. Make sure they're in green, that means they're no longer gonna work. All right, now to the beds. I'm not gonna show you every single bed, but I'm gonna show you one, and then basically you just um, repeat after that for every bed that you have. So we'll start with this one. Easiest way I like to do it, just to make sure I get in the bed perfectly, I have uh, the RP emotes by Tate McKenzie. I made a video on that, on the last video of how to install that. If you have that, it's real easy to do T slash E for emote. You do pass out and then three, no space between the pass out and the three. And as you can see, you pass out exactly like you do when you spawn into the bed. So this lets you see, hey, I'm exactly where I wanna be, or hey, I need to move this over a little bit, whatever. Uh, you're gonna see exactly how you're gonna be able to lay in the bed once you check in But once you get that go to T slash admin and we're gonna go back to developer options again copy vector 4 and Then we're gonna go back into our config file Beds you're just gonna use this very first one here right before the comma all the way to the V for vector and then control V to paste in that new location and then we want to get the model hash, and I'll show you how to do that real fast. So there's a couple different beds that are in 5M. You just want to go to T slash admin, and then go to developer options, entity view mode, and you want to go back to that free aim mode. Whoop. And then you just want to click on or hover over the bed. As you can see at the very top, it says model hash 211-766-8672. Basically, you just wanna make sure that you type those numbers right next to the uh, location that you just put. So uh, this is not the right model hash for this, but as you can see, there is the same exact number right here. So we're just gonna highlight that to make it easier. Copy, and we'll go here, highlight that, control V to paste. All right, so now we know the bed is set, the location, and the model hash is correct. 
So you just want to do this over and over for each bed that you want to set up. Um, and then you also have different, if you have locations, you can split it up like this. So this one says Polito and you got the Polito beds underneath. You can do that with multiple locations. If you're not going to use all these beds and say you just want to use like two or three, you can literally just put these dashes next to each one and just comment them out. Uh, jail beds, this is going to be at the prison or wherever you have your jail set up if you have beds in it for um, your police script or your prison script. Uh, you'll want to set this up basically the same. And then stations, this is where it's going to show on the map that you have a hospital here. As you see right now, there's not a hospital here and it's actually over here at Pillbox. So we're going to go over here and set a location let's just put it right here at the lobby and we'll just go right here it could be anywhere go to t slash admin developer options copy vector 3 open the config file and you just want to copy right here the copy and paste all right hit file save now, if you want to change the name, so this is going to show up as Pillbox Hospital. I'll show you how to do that real fast. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to exit out of that, go into locals, go to EN for English or whatever language it is you use. If you don't use English, that's fine. And then right here where it says PB underscore hospital, you're just going to want to change this to something else. We're just going to put uh, Zona. Whatever the name of your hospital is, you can just change it right there. And as I said, if you don't use English, you can use any of these other languages and it's the exact same thing. Okay, we got that done. So now we can go ahead and restart the server. Once we restart, we'll jump back in the server and I will show you how everything works. All right, and here we are back in the server. Let's go ahead and check the map to make sure that the location's now active. And as you can see, it is, and it now says Zona Hospital, just like we said it. Again, change the name to whatever it is you would like right there in that file. Uh, let's see if we can check in now. And there we have E for check in. Let's go ahead and check in, make sure we land on the bed correctly. And we do. Once we're done here, we'll go check the um, duty clock in, clock out, and the garage for the ambulance. All right, here we are at the check-in location, or duty location, clock in, clock out. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit E for off duty, and as you can see, you are now off duty, it's working. Go ahead and clock back in. And let's go check the garage. And there's a garage. Grab slash store vehicle. Go ahead and hit E. And spawn the ambulance. And there we go. Now you can just pull it up. Back up. Hit E again. Parks it back for you. I will show you too real fast how you can change the vehicle in your ambulance script if you have a different type of vehicle you just want to go to config scroll on down to authorize vehicles and then right here you want to put whatever name of the vehicle it is you're using and uh, the grade so this is zero so any grade can pull this vehicle out say you have something that you only want your main doctors or something to pull out you would just put that as whatever grade that they are uh, on your job script. So if they're head doctor or whatever, and if you don't know how to check that, I'll show you that really quick. You can go to QB core, shared jobs. Then you're gonna wanna go find the ambulance job, which is right here. And these are your different pay grades. So let's just say you have a surgeon or whatever grade it is you have, whatever you list them as and you only want them to pull out a certain vehicle that no one else can their grade is three so you want to do at least a grade three 
So you would just go back to QB ambulance job config and scroll back down to the vehicle. Once you add the vehicle, you would just put a three right there so that only them or higher grades could pull that out. Another thing I'm gonna show you real fast is if you wanted to use QB target instead of not using QB target, really simple to do. So if you don't want this menu to pop up and you wanna use your third eye, all you have to do is go back to that config file go all the way up to the top right here where it says true just go ahead and put false right there file save and then we'll go ahead and restart our ambulance job script restart all right and now you can see you can use your third eye to check in so now this We'll be able to use that. You will be able to go to your clock in location and you will be able to third eye that as well. So that's up to you. If you want to use QB target, if you don't want to use it, completely up to you. Um, but that's it for this one. If you guys have any questions, just drop a comment down below. I uh, also have a link for my new Discord server. If you guys need anything, you can reach me there and I appreciate it. Catch you on the next one.